With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, the question is, find the areas of rectangles with the following pair of monomials as their lengths and breadths respectively. Okay, so we are given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 such pairs and we need to find the area of rectangle. Okay, so firstly one important thing that let's say we are having a rectangle. So area of rectangle formula is length into breadth. Length into breadth. So this is what we I, I'll use here. Okay, so in first part we are having the pairs as P comma Q. Okay, this P is length and Q is breadth. Okay, so area of rectangle will be equal to P multiplied by Q or I can simply write it as P Q. Okay, yeah. Now sec in second part, we have the pairs as 10M comma 5n okay so length is 10m and breadth is 5n now again area of rectangle this will be equal to 10m multiplied by 5n now write the like terms together which means i will write 10 into 5 here multiplied by m multiplied by n so 10 5 says 50 so 50 multiplied by m multiplied by n or I can simply write this as 50 m n. Okay, so this is the answer for so the second pair of monomials. Okay. In third part we are having the pairs as 20 x square comma 5 y square. Now again we will find the area of rectangle so this will be equal to 20x square that is length multiplied by breadth which is 5y square now again writing the like terms together which means 20 into 5 multiplied by x square multiplied by y square 25 says 100 so it will become 100 multiplied by x square multiplied by y square or I can simply write this as 100 times x square y square. So this is the area of rectangle for the third pair of monomials. Now fourth, fourth is 4x comma 3x square. Fourth is 4x comma 3x square. Now again area of rectangle this will be equal to let me just check once again it is 4x comma 3x square yeah. so it will be equal to 4x multiplied by 3x square again I'll write the like terms together 4 into 3 multiplied by x into x square now just remember one property of exponents which is when the bases are same and parts are different and these are in multiplication that is x raised to the power a into x raised to the power b so what will happen these parts will get added so it will be equal to x raised to the power a plus b so this is what i'll use here so 4 3 is 12 multiplied by x raised to the power 1 plus 2 so it will become 12 x raised to the power 3 so this is the answer for fourth part Now let's see the fifth part. Fifth part is 3mn comma 4np. 3mn comma 4np. This is our fifth part. So area of rectangle. This will be equal to 3mn multiplied by 4np. It was 3mn comma 4np yeah 
So writing again these like terms together which is 3 into 4 multiplied by multiplied by m multiplied by n multiplied by n multiplied by p. Now again 4 3 is 12 multiplied by m. Here bases are same and these are in multiplication so powers will get added. So it will become n raised to the power 1 plus 1 multiplied by p. So finally what I will get is 12 m n raised to the power 2 p. So this is the answer for this fifth pair of monomials which is 12 m n square p thanks for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today